Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays. Ooh. Uh, well, uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> plays Europa Universalis 4. Uh, last episode, we, we blitzed Beijing and took it from them. Um, unfortunately, I think we have to end this war because, uh, I mean, some of my forts that I took are about to fall. Uh, they've got this army with a three-star general. If they didn't have that three-star general, if they had not rolled a three-star general, they probably don't, would not have done nearly as well as uh, they have in this war. Unfortunately, Wanpur and uh, Taungu, uh, I cannot call them in because the second the um, the, war the, the the truce expired with Ming, they declared war on these two guys. Uh, both of them declared war on these two guys, and uh, Ming did not accept the call to uh, to arms, so I cannot get them to join me against Ming. I can get more ticking war score by holding the capital, but I think I'm going to be losing it equally uh, equally as quickly. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is not fight that battle, because that's a mountain one. Um, but we're going to have to peace out here. I'm taking Beijing. I am taking their capital. Um, I'm also taking the border. I'm taking the forts on the border. I'm taking any. F I'm taking the forts. Is what I'm doing. Uh, what can I make them do? Take them return course. Cancel subjects. That's a lot of war score to get them just to do that, though. It's a shame. Release nations. I can't make them start releasing small nations. Annul treaties with France. Don't really care about that too much. Uh, I'm really more interested in just taking land from them. Fucking took Beijing. Uh, we'll take the capital, the, the pro... Well, actually, what we could do is just start taking coastline after this. Oh, there's a... Pro there's a that's a... Um, that's a province, too. I'd like to actually have it connected. That's not bad. That is not bad. Holy hell, that's not bad at all. See, there's probably some... I probably can grab another little province somewhere. I just gotta find exactly where a little province is. Uh, we'll go to sort by worst score. Oh no, uh, so I want to do seed province sort by worst score. That's the that's the only one I could take. Um, what about control cores, return cores? No, I don't want them to do that. Cancel subjects. No. Release nations. No. No treaties. No. So the only thing left I could do would be to take that one province as well, which I'll never be able to get to if it rebels. So I think I'll just take whatever. Wow. Look at their treasury. My god. After this war, and with all those mercenaries raised up, they have 70,000 in the bank. Alright, and this is the... This is what ended up happening. We lost 678,000 men and 60 ships. They lost 1,373,000 men and 35 ships. Actually lost more men to attrition than I did. Oh my god. Beijing is the what, what we need to core. Oh good, we have enough. Oh my god. Right, I'm gonna march I'm gonna march one of these guys all the way down here. I'm going to leave one army here. Uh, the rest are going to get transported out. Um, this army of mercs I never ended up using. It was just a waste of money. So let's cancel that. I cannot believe how much mo money they have in the bank. Uh, mercs. Leave one army of mercs up. Cleanse heresy. Nice. And I have Take Mandate of Heaven CB against them. I don't think I'm going to be able to fight them again before the game's over, unfortunately. Truce with Shimazu ends in 1825. Ming announced me as their new rival. Really? 
It's almost like I just smashed you into the ground and took your capital away from you. What's going to be nice is the next time... I'm going to say, I, I, if we want to fight them again, we have to go into post-game where, where nothing really counts. Um, my god. Control 72% of this node right now. And taking Canton would give me large controls over the actual Canton node, too. It's going to be mass rebellions for a while. They're at war with Korea and Ming. Who is this? Yorkland? Sure. People, are other nations trying to take advantage of Ming now? Yeah. Well, we won. Like, two million people died in that war, but we won. And I am now the, the greatest power in the world. Ultimate power! Jesus, that was a, uh... That was a fucking hell of a war. That 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 one, if they didn't have that one three-star general that had the three, sh the well, it was like five shock and three siege was the the parts I was looking at. If they didn't have that guy, things probably would have gone a good deal differently. They're actually losing this now. Devastation, non tributaries. So they've lost. They had thirteen before. Some a couple have fallen out. Mandate value represents the authority of the current emperor. Mandate can be used to enact centralization decisions. Lost by devastated part neighboring countries that are not tributaries. So I think maybe maybe me. Maybe I just did that because I'm not a tributary. Military leaders left us. I don't know what what Yorkland thinks it's going to gain from this. Oh, they're at war with the Ottomans, and oh, they're at war with fucking everybody. Korea, Ming, Ottomans, Wampur. Is that is it Jeanpur? Wampur. I wouldn't imagine it would be pronounced with like a Spanish inclination, but that's what I've been doing. We might actually go into post game a little so I can fight Ming again. And yes, my economy's trashed right now. Corruption, army maintenance. Uh, my total income's down about 200 from where it was. Pirates in here, so uh, you guys protect trade. Oh, not hunt pirates. You're gonna protect trade. In... Malaka. Oh, and we got all of... I don't even know what all these ships are. So let's grab one, and then we'll grab the rest of them. Most of those should be transports, so figure out what's going on over there. Uh, let's make sure everybody's passing us down the ducats. Good. Got one little sad ship over here. Maybe we get rid of that army of mercs. No, they're the only ones left up there. They'll stay. For now. Holy hell. We did win. So I, I should have take mandate from them. So what is this? Take mandate of heaven. Um, or was to take the capital of Ming, which I don't know where it is now. It's not Beijing anymore. Uh... Is there any way to see? Does it zoom? Oh, here's the capital right there. Okay. Uh, what's awesome, though, now is I ha a lot of the forts I own would have loved to have been able to connect that, but no, no go. A lot of these forts I own, so... Uh, like this one, this one, this one. They all should be level 8. 
Yeah, they're all level 8 star forts. Discontent sown by Ethiopia. Ming's still at war, so their war exhaustion is going to keep going up, which is great. Uh, economic warfare is not going to be a thing with Ming. They have 80,000 ducats in the bank, so... Price of cotton went up. We got pirates down here still. Yeah, but not many. Let's just do this. Uh, merge that, create a new fleet. Let's grab a couple of these guys. Select unit. We're gonna hunt pirates in Malacca. Right there. Then we're gonna... Strength of the Faith. Cool. Oh my god. That was a intense war. That was fucking intense. Popular religion, missionary strength, tolerance of the true faith. Let's see what kind of... We got some mostly transports there. So we're going to create a new unit. These guys select, protect trade, and English channel. Gives a little bit more money. All right, and we're back in the positive. Well, we didn't end up taking any... We could have gone further. We could have gone... We could have taken out loans. We could have... Ooh. Nuts to bet. We could have taken out loans. We could have... Um, uh, brought in more mercs, but... I don't I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Ming separatists, of course. Well, we'll just let them hit. No big deal. Uh, actually, let's uh, before we before that happens, let's make sure we put one army over here at least. These forts are fucking mine. Jungle, jungle. That's that's jungle. That's mount. Oh, that's Highland. I might actually. We might actually. I wasn't planning on doing it, but we might actually go into post game a little bit to to fight Ming. Oh, they got their got their authority right back up. How they do that? So they're right now they're doing this one. Development cost... What, really? That's an interesting choice. You're at peace now. If these guys had joined me in my war against Ming, I think it would have it gone a lot better. I mean, even, even better than it already gone. I might try um, doing uh, Rebels in Ming's land when we get up to 60 here, just because... Um, uh, that might be feasible now. Oh, so many dead men. Uh, let's see here. What am I doing? What am I doing? What did I come over here for? That. My economy's uh, definitely still down from where I was in the 600s before. Uh, 15's going to corruption. Army maintenance is huge. Li Chao. Ah, right there. You die now! Okay. Let's see. Need 60. We're at 56, 57. Uh, as this is a good way to, um, kind of test to see how how unbalanced their their nation is. Or the game's going to end in three years. Uh, test to see how unbalanced the nation is, because if there's a bunch of people I can potentially support, means that they have a lot of unrest. Alright, so now I can do that. Nope. I can support the revolutionaries, though. Are to topple the regime, which uh, they regard as corrupt and duly unjust. They believe this cause. I don't need that. Okay. Um. Mm. I mean, I could. Well, the corruption. I was like, "What the fuck just happened?" 
take out a couple loans. Because I kind of, I'm going to do that just to see what happens. Diplomacy, uh, support rebels. What are, they, are these separatists? They're barely anything, but these guys could actually do something. So we're supporting those rebels. Yeah, that corruption definitely costs a pretty penny. Uh, how's my coring going? Oh, it's almost done. Perfect. Ming's actually... Oh, they, they ended their war. So they're not at war for the first time in a while. They're, they're losing even more. Tributary stability. They have at least a little stability. As soon as this goes down, we'll, we'll start getting money again. I don't really care too much about that. We're like 100 ducats a month. Uh, we could lower our army maintenance. But I don't think I'm gonna. Overextension. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Cord all of that. Let's see, who can we convert? We convert Beijing. <laughs> Yes. Nice. Okay. So, overextension's gone. That actually uh, means a little bit less corruption. Man, I'm used to being, like, rich as a sultan. Dolly. Where the fuck's Dolly? Well, I see... Yeah, it's, like, right over here. Taking the border, the border forts will definitely help out a lot because that means that they're going to have to attack these forts from me instead of the other way around. Like this one, this is where that big battle took place where I rolled nothing but, man, that was infuriating. Rolled, you guys saw it. Nine out of ten of those rolls, uh, they rolled better than me. And we're, we're converting Beijing. Local defense, defense, yes. We are converting Beijing. Getting the troops back. Let's see what their military looks like. Still merc. I mean, of course they can, they can hire in three hundred and fifty thousand mercenaries when you have seventy thousand ducats in the bank. How the hell do they accrue that much money? Never spent it. Miserly fuckers. They never spent it on a uh, spent a dime of it, did they? Canton. So that's got to be up here somewhere. Miserly fuckers. I'm just hoping that they're going to be uh, disabled because of the uh, the damage we did to their country. Desires of the flesh. Oh, we can pay for that. We can pay the pay the fucker off. I'm gonna sit there. And there's a ten there. Where are these guys? Right here. All right. So you and you. Why don't you meet up over here? Spain's attacking France. That's nice. 80,000 men were sitting in uh, England that whole time, just in case the French invaded, and they did. <laughs> Beijing's been converted. Nice. Only took 10 months, too. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Admin, stability cost modifier, national unrest. I'll take the national unrest. That could, that could help me out right now. Getting the men back in the bank. I mean, I guess casualties against the Ming don't really matter as much when they do nothing but spam mercs like that. Wow, I, I wish I knew what their cap was. That's what I... That would be the uh, the deciding factor there is what is their mercenary cap and how close are they are to, come, uh, to hitting it. There's no way of knowing. What I'm worried about is that these guys and these guys are just going to keep declaring wars against, uh... Well, they don't have a truce with Ming. You're still at war. Let's just test something out here. Oh, they would join me. Take the mandate of heaven. Ha 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 we might try... We might do another war against Ming, uh, post... Uh, post game because we're we're this is gonna end in a hot minute here. 
but but I'm I'm glad we managed to actually fight Ming in, um, in the normal normal game time span, and win. We did we did technically win both times, which was awesome. No, it was definitely really cool. It just it, it was it felt very strange that the first half of the war we were constantly stack wiping them, and then it happened twice. But uh, the second half of the war. Um, it was more one for one, where the first half of the war was just stack wipe, stack wipe, stack wipe. Uh, air died. They had better general, that one, well, our, our, our generals were pretty even. They had that one general that was just, like, a god. He was unfortunate. 70,000 ducats they had at the end of the war. At the end of the war. At the end of the war, they had seven, oh, that's that's a tough pill to swallow. One hundred and seven ducats we earned there. That's nice. All right, getting the economy back on track. They stack wiped that one army. I don't know why that army retreated one province. They retreated from no two provinces. I think they retreated from here to there. I expected them to go to at least this far. I mean, it wasn't a... It, it was it was frustrating more than anything. It wasn't a big deal. It was just frustrating because that meant... That, oh, end of the game. There it is. Um, it just meant that that army was, you know, gone. And I had to redo it. So, uh, statistics. You know what would be cool if I told you, showed you the total number of men, like, lost in the game? Uh, second largest army... Uh, largest navy, second most provinces, second highest most provincial value, highest income, highest trade. Uh, isn't there a an option to keep playing? Iron Man, you can see I played on Iron Man. Legend Among Legends has was uh your state religion is shinto so this is the one disaster is rocked your uh grandest province was kyoto oh so this is um uh a list of things that happened longest reign was 54 years 54 of our wars ended in glorious victory two wars ended in disgraceful defeat the two i surrendered to ming i remember uh, each year, 3,551 enemy combatants fell to our fire and steel. So per per, per year, 3,500 enemy units died. We saw the loss of 2,200 units. Each year, we saw the loss of 2,200. Each year, about one enemy ship fell to our broadsides. Each year, we lost zero ships. We wiped 21 nations from the face of the earth. Our greatest uh, nation annexed. Great Nation annexed 273 provinces. 114 provinces uh, were unjustly stolen from us. Really? 104? I lost 114 provinces? 86 military leaders served us throughout history. Legend amongst us. So that was our best leader was the 66... Or our best general was the 6623. I don't even remember him. State Nation was Shinto. Greatest province was Kyoto. One disaster rocked our nation. Oh, so this is the... Uh, the timeline of our nation. Uh, what's a good speed to leave this on? So this is me right there. Let's, go, let's, let's just put on max. My little purple name. Okay, we start colonizing. And we're gobbling up territory. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. I think, and then that's the extent of our gobbling. And then you can see we're colonizing like a motherfucker. Uh, down here, we should have stuff over on the other side of the world now. Yep. Australia. And then right up this way. That's the extent of our, our landings there. Oh, and then we took stuff over in England and Spain. 
And there, that's the end of it. Okay, so, um... I could have sworn that you had there was an option to keep playing post post game. Um, I guess we'll figure that out though. Um, I'll figure that I'll, I'll figure that out off screen, and if I can figure it out, there will be a, a there will be more episodes. So thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next series. <laughs>